Hey YouTube, so it's Melinda and I am on a walk today. I just wanted to give you an update about how this week has gone. I haven't stuck to my diet and that's okay because I did stick to the Buteco breathing exercises every day. Yay! I was recovering from um, an ankle sprain so I wasn't able to get as, in as much running but I started exercising this week so that was great. Um, and today I have gotten in some exercise rebounding on my trampoline which um, stimulates the lymphatic system walking with little Charlie see if he'll say hi he's camera shy oh there we go I don't know why I like to show him probably because he's cuter than me um, anywho I'm doing great and uh, I'll keep you posted as far as uh, dietary stuff, today I made some ketogenic panna cotta, which is kind of a dessert snack that I like with lemon and um, the seasoning I use, the, uh, the sweetening I used was Pyur. It is a stevia based product. Eh, we'll see how it goes. And I also made a crustless quiche for my breakfasts. So, we'll see how that goes this week. Hey YouTube, it's Melinda. And this video I wanted to talk about clearing congestion with Buteco breathing exercises because we're into springtime and with that comes seasonal allergies, which I do get a touch of. Not so much as I used to when I was a kid because um, I've gone up and up and up on the levels of health so I'm almost at optimal health but seasonal allergies they'll hit me and I will get a little bit of congestion and maybe a few sneezes a day not a ton but sometimes I'll wake up and it'll f I'll have pressure nasal pressure this is how you clear it you plug your nose and then you close your mouth and you let the pressure build up in your nose and you will breathe out through your nose with but keeping it plugged that'll build up the pressure inside your nose it'll um, circulate some more oxygen and that'll um, help loosen up some of the congestion and then you can blow your nose and breathing only through your nose will help keep it clear so as you are doing buteco breathing exercises it's a transition from mouth breathing to only nose breathing and um, you'll find that you'll get less and less problems with congestion and when you have buteco breathing exercises it's great your health will increase too so that's another reason to do buteco breathing exercises focusing only on nasal breathing and diaphragmatic breathing it comes and um, it's great so yay okay so what else did I want to talk about oh no new hair growth so we can't say oh buteco breathing exercises definitely creates hair growth but I feel like as I keep doing it and I keep striving to attain optimal health my hair is gonna start growing I'm going to reduce the inflammation that's keeping it from growing I'm going to somehow figure out which nutrients I'm deficient in that are making it not grow I know biotin is one that the doctor prescribed and I took for a while and it didn't really make a difference but I also learned that sometimes you have gut dysbiosis and um, you're not absorbing the nutrients and I worked with a chiropractor for about two years on um, supplementation and different you know nutrients and she'd test me and find I was deficient in one and then give me supplements for it and it was a balancing act and it look I'm still bald so so there you have it um, yeah alopecia universalis it's a struggle and I know there is a guy out there who's got a whole diet that I tried and supplements to go with it but um, he's not very good at sending out the supplements when you pay for them. 
um, that was like pulling teeth to get the supplements. And so I kind of gave up on him, even though he's got pictures of, oh, here I am with beard and here I am without, and I tested this out and he was having people eat lots of cucumber and tomatoes and weird stuff. Um, tried it for a little while, but it didn't work. Um, I'm still optimistic though. I'm still betting that I'll have hair by summertime. We'll see. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe below, and um, stay tuned. I'll try to film some more videos.